Yeah. <laughs> you know what I found really exciting? Yeah. <laughs> they have what's called the sign-in. Yes. The S-I-G-N-I-N. <laughs> I think that's kind of the standardized form. A lot of times when it says log in to your email. <laughs> but it says sign in to consumer accounts that have an account balance. Yes. <laughs> Could you get me all the sign-ins on every web page and website, the S-I-G-N space I-N in quotations? <laughs> I'd just like to know all of those, that, if they signed in at the same moment, you would have a complete understanding of the total amount of count and balances. Now, it sounds stupid. I know it does. <laughs> But when an email address uses login and a consumer site uses sign-in, is there any possibility that signing into an account that has a certain amount of money, yes, it's like a contract, it's a transaction, <laughs> if you have actual assets of the consumer, different than logging into the, the email account, Let's say I signed in, and I used my phone number for the mobile account. Yes, yes, yes. And I click continue. Is there a password there? <laughs> yeah. And then I could see the actual account balance, and then I could decide how much I wanted to reload into the account from the bank account that's connected to it. Yes. <laughs> now, I know. <laughs> You've got millions upon millions of consumers that use your your business to buy items and their quality items. I've used it myself. Thank you for that. But let's say that somebody wanted to help themselves to a little money. Poo. And uh, they're in the family. <laughs> and they open an account and they get a gift card and they reload it from a bank account where they don't want to see where the money's going. I mean, what if I wanted to buy a new car for $50,000 and I bought it on Amazon? <laughs> And I didn't receive the card. I just sent the the fifty thousand dollars. Would that be considered money laundering? Pooch. <laughs> Do you have to receive the item when purchasing it, or can you just send money as much as you want? See, it's one thing to just trust people that they wouldn't try to pay those in law enforcement or oaths. <laughs> they wouldn't just agree to buy something and you would agree not to send it to them. And then they would agree to get the money so as to violate your civil rights. <laughs> But when you think about somebody declaring that they mailed something yes, for a non-existent court date that wasn't on the actual public site, there's no way you could laundry money from a bank account through an online account to somebody that's going to receive it for an item that they really weren't selling. <laughs> so as to pay for the super top secret way that you you bribe police officers, sheriffs, and those in... <laughs> I mean, really, <laughs> there's no way <laughs> that you could go online and say, well, I'm going to pay you for an item, but you don't have to send it to me. <laughs> the, all of the individuals that are the consumers as well as the retailers are 100% honest and you have an actual record of everything they purchased, but you don't have a record of what they sent. <laughs> you do? <laughs> is it the actual item that was advertised on Amazon? Is it? <laughs>